Okay. Today is a March 10th, 2021, and we are starting day seven. Hey, hey, Joel, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. And um, what about you? Excellent, excellent. It's amazing. Today is already Wednesday, Joel. Tomorrow is the last day for the week. Already two weeks, half the class, half the course is tomorrow. Really? <laughs> for me, that, that is the amazing I, thing. I Yes, it's amazing. Yes, only 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 uh, tomorrow, and then is is going to be a relax. Yeah. And then that's it. And then tomorrow, half half the course finished, fifty percent. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Luis, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you for that question. Hey, Luis, uh, uh, I, you didn't come to class the last the last two days, right? It's true, teacher. Uh, in the last week, I uh, have a uh, hard time connecting to classes. I've been sick, but oh. think I'm ready now. How do you feel? Are you okay? It's okay, teacher. I'm, I feel good. Okay. Do you have any questions, Luis? Because I know when, when you miss class, sometimes maybe it's a little confusing or you, you need some information. Do you, do you have any questions, Luis? Uh, many questions, teacher. But in the next week, I... 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 I understand the better. Okay, okay. Well, today we're gonna start by a little bit of review, okay? And we have the idea for uh, relative clauses and the idea of participles. Relative clauses is from yesterday. So we're gonna start with that to help you. Uh, anybody have the idea what are relative clauses? Uh, a little teacher, uh, and uh, last night I I had connecting and I understand the use the adjective and in different form, uh, but I I have I have many dudas, <laughs> many doubts, uh huh, <laughs> many doubts. So let's begin. So, and let's help. Let's help uh, Luis a little bit. What What are the idea of relative clauses? Sorry, sorry, teacher. Don't worry. No, no. We, the the other class, the the other members. Uh, what is the relative clauses? What What can we use? What are, What are the three words we use for relative clauses? Um. Uh, now is my first day, and no I don't problem. understand. No, 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 not for you. Not for you. Not for you. For the class. For the class. So for for Monica, for Joel, for the others, what are the relative clauses? Uh, it's who, which, and that. Excellent, Monica. Who, which, and that. And why do we use who? Who is for? No one remembers. Uh, teacher, uh, who is for person? Right. And mm -hmm. which is for a thing? Excellent. And that is for person or, or thing. Okay, excellent. So we have who is for people, which is for things, and that is for both the people and the things. Okay, 
So that is the idea. We have who for people, which for things, and that for both. The idea of the relative clause is to describe things, to give more information uh, so that we can say, for example, uh, the actor, the movie, the restaurant, and then we give information, okay? You can begin with the name or you can begin with the idea, okay? So I can say, hey, the hotel that has uh, surfing is really nice or the hotel uh, which has a, a, a buffet is great, okay? So maybe I don't remember the name of the hotel, the same the, for the movie. Maybe I don't remember the movie. And I can say to Rodrigo, hey, Rodrigo, what is the movie that has zombies? Ah, and then Rodrigo said, oh, is this one, okay? This is the idea to, to be more specific, okay? Uh, that is the idea. So we use relative clauses when we want to give more information about a topic or about someone. So imagine here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven students in this moment. And I say, ah, the student. Okay. Well, okay. Which student? I have many students. Ah, the student that has a picture of San Salvador is participating, which is the student. Well, Pastram. Old Pastran, exactly, exactly. That is the idea, okay? So the idea is to give this additional information so that you can be specific, okay? Hey, Nuria, you made it. I'm glad, I'm glad somebody passed the link. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. <laughs> good, good job, guys. Yes, I'm sorry, Nuria, but I, I only have the link on the computer because, and I didn't have the in the email. But, don't worry, teacher, don't worry. Okay. But so we're looking at the relative clauses. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that it's clear who, that, and which is for extra information about the topic. Okay. So let's take a look at my screen. I'm going to share to make sure. Let's. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay. So that we should have finished yesterday, but just to help us review and make sure that it's clear. People and okay. So we can see here that we have many ideas for it. Okay. Let me give you. Okay. Who is used to join? All right. So here we have it like we explained. Who is, we have two sentences, okay? And we want to combine the sentences to be more specific, okay? He likes the woman. This is one sentence, okay? She lives next door. This is the next sentence. So we put the two sentences together. He likes the woman who lives next door. Ah, now we understand which woman. Because if we say only he likes the woman, oof, there are a lot of women in El Salvador. But if we say, ah, he likes the woman who lives next door, it's easy for us to decide which is the person. Okay, It's OK why we use who? Yes, teacher. OK, good. Now we have the next one. Our next one is. The boss is about people. Okay. Which is used to. Now we can see we use which which is the same function for two sentences, but is not for people, is to talk about things. As an example, it's a movie, okay? Uh, we enjoy very much the, the movie, right? So we put the two sentences together. It's a movie, which we enjoy very much. So now we are being able to give a description of the movie. We're able to give or talk about the movie, not only with one adjective, but with a phrase to be more specific. So remember, who for people and which is for things. To join classes about things. That is used. Now that is for both, for people or things. 
So you, in the first example, I bought a car. The car is very fast. So we put in one sentence, I bought a car that is very fast. This is talking about a thing, a car, but we choose that. The next one, she has a sister. Uh, her sister, his, sorry, her sister is a writer. So we make the two into one sentence. She has a sister that is a writer. We are talking about a person, but we use that. So as you can see, that can be for both people or things. Who? Only people. Which? Only things. Now, let's check here. I believe everybody finished this exercise yesterday, the 3.10. But you can tell me, did everybody finish? Are there any questions for 3.10? No, you didn't finish or yes? Yes, I finished teacher Jesse, yesterday. Jesse, yes. Yes, I, I did it teacher too. Okay, okay, then yes. Okay, perfect, just making sure. So if you didn't finish, this is, this is exactly what we're talking about, is you are going to take Two sentences, as an example, here. Here are two sentences. He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. And you are going to make one sentence using the relative pronoun. He's a movie director who made the film Hulk, who for people, or you can say he's a movie director that made the film Hulk, OK? Because we have the two forms. We can use who or that but you are going to make the complete sentence if you didn't complete it yesterday. That's the one that you have. Now, the other is here we have a reading. Did everybody finish the reading yesterday? Are there, were you able to complete with your partners, all of them? Not I did it too, teacher. I didn't, I didn't do it. Okay. And I haven't seen yet. Okay, excellent, okay. So this is great because this gives us the opportunity with our partners to make sure that we all help each other. So if you and your partners didn't finish 3.10, in this moment, we are going to complete 3.10. If you and your partners finish 3.10, in this moment, we are going to complete 3.11. We are not going to take a long time. It's only about 10 minutes 10, 15, 10, 15 minutes, only to help all of the members to make sure that everyone understands, okay? So if you and your partner are going to do 3.11, which is the reading, so imagine that uh, Jesse and Joel are partners and they do the reading, okay? Perfect, there's no problem. So if Jesse and Joel do the reading, and you can see there are six paragraphs uh, Jesse reads paragraph number one, Joel reads paragraph number two, Jesse number three, Joel number four, and so, so forth, Jesse five, Joel six. Then the two, you discuss the vocabulary, the meaning, and then you put, you answer the sentences, okay? In which paragraph goes each of those sentences? So with our partners, these activities is about 15 minutes between reading checking the vocabulary, answering the questions. If you didn't finish 3.10, it's okay. Join your partners, can use the time also to complete. So the idea is we want to make sure that everyone is complete 3.10 uh, and 3.11 by 9.30, because at 9.30, we're going to begin the next activity. This is only to help us review and make sure that it's clear. Any okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any yes. questions? No. No. All right. No. Let's no. Oh, perfect. Great. Let's make our partners and let's do it together.
Hello, are somebody there? Nuria and Lu Lu Luis Hello, is here. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. I can I can see who is in this room, teacher. Oh, you, I can you, see you, but I don't know the who other is my people. partner. You, uh, yeah. Your partner is Luis. Luis Diaz is your uh, partner. Luis. Hello, Li Luis. Hello, Nuria. Who you shared? Carla, Rodrigo, you guys okay? Any questions? It's okay to share uh, work in the uh, platform. Okay, perfect. We are, we are only checking. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good, good. Here it is. I'm going to be the first. Uh, there was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventure of this extraordinary student at Howard School of Witchcraft and Wizard Dry are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon. No even J.K. Rowling, his creator. Lisa? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling was born in England. In appeared in her head. She soon created a world cast of unique charters, or charters, charters to help Harry battle uh, the force of darkness. Yes. Uh, paragraph number four. She kept working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she married where a movie based on a, on a book on a seven books. Seven books. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> eight 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 movies, seven books. Eight movies. Okay. Yes, so the magic of Potter. There was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventures of this extraordinary student at Howard's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. J.K. Wow. Rowling was, what? Wow, no, no. O sea, no, yeah. I, I am amazing. <laughs> I am surprised. Ah, yes. For all, yeah, uh, for it did, was. You never have. No, the, uh, You never, have you ever. Uh, seen no. a movie of Harry Potter? No, I never, Potter? I never have seen, <laughs> but uh, I only heard okay. about uh, in 45 languages, including Russian. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was a phenomenon. Okay. The, uh, it's a still a phenomenon. It even have uh, has a, um, a 
park, like a, a thematic park. Um, in a student at Howard School of Windcraft and Wizard, Wizard, Wizardry, algo así, Wizardry, mm -hmm. Wizardry. Are, we are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter pheno phenomenon, not even no. J.K. Rowling, this creator. Wow, it's so okay. difficult. Me. Number there, two. Let, let me check. Do you understand the meanings of this paragraph? Uh, a little. There okay. was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. There was a time, había un tiempo donde sí. nadie conocía a Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Now, the adventures of this extraordinary student at ahora eh, las aventuras extraordinarias de este estudiante, de este estudiante en la escuela, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. The Magos Howard the Magos Wizard no witch, witchcraft, no sé qué significa. Could you Google it? Witchcraft? What what is the mean the witchcraft? I don't know, but could you Google it? Uh, in, do you, uh, in this moment. Do you okay. know do you know the movie Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay. Is the topic of Harry Potter the witches? ¿Qué significa witches, teacher? What is the Halloween? Ah, the witch ah witch, pero aquí dice witchcraft. Exactly. Is the is the action. No, the ah, person mm -hmm. is the activity. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia wizard? La, segun, la siguiente palabra de wizard. Wizardry. Wizardry. Y eso es, mago es wizard, ¿verdad? Correct. Y, y, exactly. y wizardry, magia. Witchcraft, brujo, como brujo, bruja. That's the witch. That's witch. Witch. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft. Yes. En wizardry. The what, same. What the, the same uh, for witchcraft. Uh, mm -hmm. The same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, remember, witch is for women and wizard is for men. So witchcraft uh, uh, is for uh, women and wizardry is for men. I are new words for me, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Now the adventure of this extraordinary student at Hogwarts School of Wizard Witchcraft and wizardry are read in over forty-five languages. Okay, han sido leídos en más de 45 idiomas, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. Aún en el antiguo, en el antiguo griego, ¿verdad? No one can explain ah. the Harry Potter phenomenon. Sorry? Ninguno puede explicar el fenómeno de Harry Potter. Not even J.K. Rowling, his creator, not even. Teacher, are you there, teacher? I am here. Okay, what does it mean <laughs> not even? It means not including, including this person. Ah, uh, not including J.K. Rowling? No, no, in, not even. So this not even is including this person. So J.K. Rowling can't explain it either. Uh, so so uh-huh, and she can explain why it's so popular. Okay, thank you. Okay, Luis, it's your turn. Okay, number two. Just wait. JK. Sorry, Luis, before you continue. Remember, the idea is not to translate it because you don't want to translate. <laughs> you want to okay. understand it. Translating, okay. translating is not going to help okay. you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes. You're welcome. Number okay. two, my turn. Okay. J.K. Rowling was so born. Nicole, you look, you look that we understand. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Only, only no, that. No problem, no problem. <laughs> A me, since I have a second child and currently lives in Scotland. 
Um, yes, correct. Now we have to check the the exercises. Okay. Um do, do you have paragraph two in the number one? And um, fears. Yes, and the first. And Good. Oh, Ellen, he said, great job, great job. Are there any words or anything you didn't understand? Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, remarried yeah. is, remarried teacher. Is to be married again. So, ah, okay. So, mm -hmm, to have a husband again. Mm, the the same husband and another husband. Another husband, correct. Another husband. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay. Only for me. Only the only this word. Okay. And for you, Lisa, any words? <clears throat> Not any, any question. No? No. Okay, great. Let's go back to the, the class and let's see the other groups too. And we're back. Yeah, we're back. It's, it's fast. It's like flash, huh? The time. The ten minute. The ten. Yes, the ten minutes fly. Yeah, yeah. Imagine I say, hey, only 10, 15 minutes, and and now it's already nine thirty, and half the class is gone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, before we continue, were there any questions for anybody? Uh, any anything that's not clear? Yes, for the moment, yes, teacher. That's clear, okay, all right. I don't know what happened to the other partners, but I think they are stuck in the other, in the other, but they come in just a few seconds because there we go. Here we have more, okay. All right, so uh, I know some groups finished. Congratulations for the groups that finished. I know it's good job and other groups that didn't finish, don't worry. You're going to have an opportunity to finish in one moment. But I want to explain the next activity. So if, when you finish the reading, then you continue to the next activity. But I'm going to explain for everyone. That way, the groups that finish can, under, can begin and the ones that didn't, they go next, okay? So our next activity, after you finish the reading, if you didn't finish this reading, don't worry. In one moment, you are going to return with your partners and answer the questions, read and answer them, okay? But right now, we are going to begin and take a look at what is our exam. This, this week, we have a midterm. This midterm means it's an exam of unit one, two, and three. In, we have five sections in this exam. Uh, we have sections A, B, C, D, and E. Our first section, section A, is a listening. There are two listenings. We have the first one, part one, and we have four, pair, four questions, okay? These four questions is for the first listening. Then we have a part two, the second listening, and we have four questions. You are going to listen and answer the questions. Remember the technique. The technique is listen, answer the questions, and listen again and check the answers. 
That way you are clear that the answers are correct. So listen and select the answers and then listen again and check to make sure the answer is the appropriate or the answer is the one that you want. In section B, you are going to write passive sentences. So remember, passive sentences is the idea from unit one where we have a sentence like the example, Prince recorded the song Purple Rain and you are going to change the focus. We are not going to focus on the person. We are going to focus on the object. And we're going to say the song Purple Rain was recorded by Prince. So when you make the passive sentence, you need to put or you need to add the word by. Okay, so in part B, you're going to look at the sentences and you are going to rewrite the sentences in the passive. Okay, that's the important. In part two, you are going to use what we learned this week. You're going to rewrite the sentences with who, that, or which. Okay, that is the one from yesterday's activity. This is part B. Then in part C is vocabulary. Well, it's reading and choosing which is the correct form, which of the words is the correct to complete it. Is it the simple past? Is it the past continuous? Is it past participle, passives? The same, do you use ing? Do we use ed? Which forms is the correct one? So in part one and two, you select, but in part three, you need to write the word correctly. So part one and two, select the correct word, and part three, you have to write it. Then in letter D, it's only choosing the word. You read and choose, this is for vocabulary. You choose and you read and choose which word is the correct to complete the sentence, okay? And this one, only seven sentences. And the last part is the reading. The same that we just practiced, you're going to read and answer the questions about it, okay? The information is in the reading, so only you read. Remember, it's better to make, the, to make it big by clicking on this little arrow here, and you can make it big and have the letters big so you can read easily. Are there any questions on the exam of any of the sections? No, teacher. No, teacher, it's clear. Okay, and just a tip, if you share the screen, if you share your screen to share the audio, when you put the share screen in the bottom, you're going to see a little box that says share computer audio, or in Spanish is going to say eh, compartir audio de computadora. You need to click, you have to click in order to share the audio. If not, the person is not going to hear the audio, okay? So now, we are going to return to our partners and we have two things. If you did not finish the reading for Harry Potter, finish, relax. It's not, it's not to go quickly. The important is to learn and to do it correctly. So if you did not finish, you go with your partners and you finish and answer the questions. If you finish, like I know with some groups that we talk, if you finish, then you begin together the listening and rewriting the sentences, okay? We have about 25 minutes, so we have time to, to advance. So don't worry, we have time. And if we don't finish, it's okay. We finish tomorrow, it's no problem. Any questions? No, no. Huh? Silvia, no. Do, you have, do you have a question, Silvia? No, teacher. No? Okay, okay, all right. I like Sylvia putting the hair. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's fight. Okay, all right, Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> all right, excellent. Okay, then let's go with our partners and complete our activities. Okay. <laughs> okay.
I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Could you share your screen, Silvia? Me saca, eh, yo recibo la clase en el celular y ah. me saca si me si ingreso a, a, a la... We, we can do it like before. Yes, I can't share, but we can do it by myself, I think. Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know? that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Okay, Lisa, um the first is the, the Egyptian pyramid. Are not open to tourists. Are not open to no. tourists. Yes. Okay. I'm going to check it. I'm going to select it. Okay. The number two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work, but I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Three. Okay, the number two great Zimbabwe is... The largest monument in South America, too. Uh, the number two, the largest monument in Southern Africa. Okay. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? 
I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? Sí, sí. No one Hola. knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Me escucha. Me escucha. Hello? Uh, can you, yes, can you press pause? Thank you. Uh, your screen uh, seems blurry to me. Looks blurry to me. No, no, I can't no, read. Okay. Yeah, it's the, the screen, yes, but the audio is clear. Only the screen is, no. I don't know. No se mira. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm, I can, if you want, if you want, I can take pictures and send to your to the WhatsApp because in the in the screen it looks a, a little a little blurry, but I don't know if it's my computer. No, no, también para mí, pero no se preocupe, voy a voy a intentar verlo yo también desde. Y lo vi acá y acá. A ver. No sé, no será mi computadora. No, Jesse, yo creo que es, yo creo que solo sucede cuando, cuando no, cuando, cuando, ¿cómo se llama? Scroll. Ajá. Cuando scroll, ajá, yeah. Cuando sube, ajá, 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 creo que solo sucede cuando, cuando hace oh, bueno. eso, o sea, uh -huh. cuando está estática, no, ajá. Pero se escucha ah. bien, todo se escucha bien y todo. Ajá, sí, el sonido es, es, es perfecto. Okay. Y para, para ir bajando, entonces, ¿cómo hago? Para ir moviendo. Para Hasta que poder... terminemos de escuchar, bye. Oh, no voy a memorizar nada. <risa> <risa> ok. <risa> ok. okay. Sa ¿Sabes qué? ¿Cómo has hecho así? Vaya. Ajá. Eh, esto es, eh, se abre en otra pantalla. Entonces, lo que puedes hacer es, lo abrís en otra pantalla y bajas aquí. Así que en otra pantalla... Lo, se está se va a escuchar pero vos lo puedes leer en esta mm. ah uh -huh. puedo abrir el audio en otra pantalla sí por ejemplo en esa la puedes abrir okay uh -huh. okay vamos a ver go ahead vaya ves y en la ah, página vaya. anterior cuando regres, cuando en, después de que le pones play aquí regresas a la página anterior y ahí exacto ahí ya puedes incluso ya lo puedes dejar ya bajado ya listo para cuando empiece a, a tocar a sonar, ya lo puedes escuchar bien. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. <ríe> Te engaño de mi vida perdida. <ríe> Gracias. No. Ok. okay. Ahorita, este, Mónica, lo volvemos a hacer. De la forma, y ya, ya el lunes me van a tener nuevito. Qué bueno. Okay. Re, re, reiniciado. Reiniciado, reprogramado. <ríe> sí. Max right he is speaking English, not speaking Spanish. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. We are learning English. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Charles, Charles, uh -huh. Charles. I'm uh -huh. sorry, teacher. Nobody the teacher has back. the full share the magic. No, nobody. Nobody. I am on cell phone. Sylvia is in her cell phone. And Luis is in his cell phone. I can share to the cell phone, no problem. I, I take the picture and I put in the cell phone. In which activity are you? Okay, thank you, teacher. In, in which in which exercise? In in are you doing the reading, the, the listening, which part? The reading because we can listen in okay. One moment. So the reading, one moment. For the Harry Potter. Yeah. It's in it's already in the WhatsApp. Ah yeah, you're right, teacher. Yeah, you're right. But we are thinking about the second activity. The 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 second activity, the letter A. Uh -huh. Related the you were talking about the that about this exercise. Using by and I don't ah, know. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I know which one. I know which one. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to take the picture and send to the WhatsApp for the second okay. activity. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank yes. You, All right. So the second activity is going to be by parts. So the first part is four sentences. Okay. And then part two is the using the what, which, 
like that. But I, it's only three. Let me see. I put maybe like this. This one is better for you. Can you see it in the in the WhatsApp? Is that okay or no? Yes. Yeah, it's okay, teacher. We want to work with this. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sylvia. Sylvia, could you be WhatsApp? Please. Yes, I, I can see it. No, 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 I, I cannot listen out. It's okay, Reina. If you have problems with the listening, you can go to the part, the next part, the writing part, or the, where you make the sentences. In this case, a star, a star Wars movie was directed by George Lucas. Are you agree with this? The Star Wars movie was directed by George Lucas. It's okay, Lisa, or I need to change something. Donde puso el eh, el de bye, eh, ah, bye, yes, here I, I put it a uh, bye, okay. Teacher, in this case, um, I remember very, very good. Uh, the by is used for, for what reason? Uh, by is used to explain who did the action. Ah, who, okay. Yes. Who? But, Joel, uh, uh, wait, first, sorry. Lisette, do you agree with this sentence? Mm. Eso sí tengo dudas. Todavía okay. no me no. Okay, all right. So Joel is is almost is almost correct, but I'm going to help you. So at the beginning, Joel, we need to put the Star Wars movies. So we need to start with the. Okay. Okay. Good. And the movie is not singular; it's plural. You see in this original sentence, movies. Ah uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes, and, yes. and because the original sentence is plural, then is not was, because okay. the movies is they, so uh -huh, they were, okay. Continue, let me see. They were directed, uh -huh. it should be by George Lucas, period. Okay, okay, now you can check well, it should be correct. Okay, so the important, and I'm going to explain to Lisa, that way it's clear also, is when you use the passive voice, is you change the focus of the sentence. So as an example, uh, I call Joel, I call Joel, 
but the focus is me. But when I use the passive, it's not me. It's Joel, Joel was called by me. I use by to explain who did the action. That is, wow. the, that is the function of by. So by, the, the main function of by is really to explain who does the action. Okay, ends, okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Lisette? Mm, so, so. <laughs> okay. So this is from, remember, this is where you need to remember from unit one. If it's not clear, it's okay. You go back to unit one and watch the videos because this is the idea. Is is not, is the idea is not to uh, advance or not to complete. The idea is to learn. So remember the difference is who is the focus? The focus, the person or the focus, the object. Uh, because for example, uh, I, I, or, or Lisette, Lisette cooks the food. We focus the, the person, Lisette, but the food was cooked. Ah, now it's not important who, only the important is the food was cooked. This is the difference because in the object, the object cannot cook itself. The object need to receive the action. Someone has to do the action. So in that case, the food was cooked and we can put by Lisette. This is the big difference, the focus. Is that, is that better Lisette for you? Sí, ya me entendí un poco más con esa explicación que me dio. Gracias. Okay, you're welcome, Lisa. Um, then let me give you one more example, just one more, so it, so maybe you can visualize. Okay, you see the hair? Okay, so it's a difference. Okay, uh, if I say that the, I go to the salon, okay, to cut, to cut the hair, okay, not focus in me, focus in the hair. I say, hey, my hair, my hair was cut. Is not important who. Maybe it's Andrea, maybe it's Felipe, maybe it's Jaime. But it's not focused in them. It's focused my hair, my new look. This is the idea for the passive, to focus in the object, not to focus in who did the activity. Okay. Ah, I see, I see, Lantani. Okay. <laughs> All right, Lisa, you're welcome. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, by George Lucas. French recorder, watch recorder, were directed by George, George Lucas. It's correct. There you, you go. Very good. Very good. Remember that if the word is plural, it's going to be word. If the word is singular, it's going to be was. Very nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So, for example, you put the Star Wars movies were. Is this is correct because the movies are plural. You see movies with S, but if it's one movie, it was. So in the in the other sentence, you have to look for is singular or plural. Uh, singular. Exactly. So there is not going to be were. Because it's singular. Because it's singular. Like the World Wide Web? Mm -hmm. Was. Exactly. Very good. Was developed. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
by Tim Berners-Lee. For this, it's better to copy the name. Copy the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Tim Berners-Lee. Uh -huh. Because when you write the name, sometimes it's a it's a little mistake. A little mistake. That is a real fact. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Very, very nice. Develop. The. How to pronounce develop? How to pronounce develop? With D. Develop. Yes. Okay. Developed. Developed. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, mm. No, no. It's because you have two spaces. Take a look after the word by. I think you have by. two spaces. I think you put two spaces. Yes. By, uh -huh. Yes. So it's, it's, not that it, uh -huh, it's not that it's bad. It's only the, it's only the, the space. You have to be space. careful. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's good, everybody is back. So the important is we understand and we're reviewing. This is the idea, review the passive voice, review the idea for past and present participle, review from yesterday, okay? Uh, all of these are the ideas that we want to make sure that it's clear so that way you can do well. If in this moment you are looking at the, at the sentences or the activities and you say, oh, I don't remember, oh, I'm confused. This is the perfect moment to go back and look at the videos, to go back and say, ah, oh, what is the passive voice? Oh, what are relative clauses? Ah, what is the present participle, past participle, present continuous, passive voice, all of these things. This is the idea, okay? Don't worry. The idea is not to finish. The idea is to learn. Tomorrow we are going to finish. Okay. The idea today is only to help us review. Yes, Jesse. Teacher. No, okay. but uh, in this day I learned about how can use the platform. How can use this? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not my day. <laughs> I'm very confused. But Monica helped me so thank, much. Thank you, Monica. Oh. Thank you, Monica. And I'm glad you learned, Jesse. Good. But uh, she she support to me. <laughs> yeah, that's, yes. That's good. Uh, but yes, she is playing. How can I do? Because I am very frustrated. <laughs> it's not my day. <laughs> no problem. That's why we have good partners. That's why it's a good partner like Monica. Very good. Okay. Well, we're going to and she, yes. and she has a lot of pension. She has a lot of pension. Uh -huh. That's nice. <laughs> it's That's... very patient. Patience. Yes. Patience. Yes. yes. <laughs> You're welcome, Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are going to pause there. Don't worry. Tomorrow we are going to finish our midterm exam. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to do it. But today is only to help you so that you see if you say, ah, I need to review because I don't remember. I need to check because I don't remember. That is the idea for today. But tomorrow we complete the midterm exam. All right. Have a great night. Okay, teacher. Have a good night. Okay, you teacher. too. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Bye.